the epiphany of our Lord, Bethlehem, Judea. The word epiphany means manifestation, and it has passed into general acceptance throughout the universal church, from the fact that Jesus Christ manifested to the eyes of men his divine mission on this day first of all, when the miraculous star revealed his birth to the kings of the east, who, in spite of the difficulties and dangers of a long and tedious journey through deserts and mountains almost impassable, hastened at once to Bethlehem to adore him and to offer him mystical presents, as to the king of kings, O the God of heaven and earth, and to a man with all feeble and mortal. The second manifestation was when, going out from the waters of the Jordan after having received baptism from the hands of St. John, the Holy Ghost descended on him in the visible form of a dove, and a voice from heaven was heard, saying, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. The third manifestation was that of his divine power, when at the marriage feast of Cana he changed the water into wine, at the sight whereof his disciples believed in him. The remembrance of these three great events, concurring to the same end, the church has wished to celebrate in one and the same festival. Reflection. Admire the almighty power of this little child, who from his cradle makes known his coming to the shepherds and magi to the shepherds by means of his angel, to the magi by a star in the east. Admire the docility of these kings. Jesus is born, behold them at his feet. Let us be little, let us hide ourselves, and the divine strength will be granted to us. Let us be docile and quick in following divine inspirations, and we shall then become wise of the wisdom of God powerful of his almighty power. Amen.